Okay, so today we'll be making the soap dispenser out of cordurance plywood. The purpose of this project is to create a simple housing for disposable soap dispensers. And then, each one ends up unique and imperfect, no matter how hard you try, which is a benefit in my eyes. Now let's roll the intro and get started. To make this one, need some sort of cutting tool for the wood, a drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit, a 1 inch drill bit, a bottle of liquid soap, and some stain slash clear finish to coat. You will also need an orbital sander, wood glue, and a router is optional. To get started, take some quarter inch plywood and cut it to make up the sides of the box. You can do this using a table saw, a miter saw, or even some hand tools. No matter which tools you're using, Make sure to take account for the thickness of the wood and make precise measurements of the soap bottle before you start. My dimensions ended up being 4 inches for the width, 3 inches for the depth, and 8 inches for the height, but your dimensions will probably vary. Once the pieces have been cut out, you can start gluing them together. First I glued one of the side pieces to one of the face pieces. To do this, I placed a wooden block cut at 90 degrees against the corner and then clamped the plywood to it. This helped ensure that the joint ended up square. Repeat this with the other two pieces so you end up with two L-shaped panels. Then you can glue them together also to form a box. Once the glue has dried, you can remove the clamps and apply some wood filler anywhere necessary. My wood filler is from Elmer's and I'll leave the link to it down in the description box. Just make sure that your wood filler is either stainable or color matched to the stain that we'll be applying. Now it's time to put a quarter inch round over on the edges. To do this you have a couple of options. You can use an orbital sander or a belt sander to take the corners off. Or you can use a router with a round over bit. Using the router would probably be a better option, but because I don't have one, I'll be sanding the edges. If you decide to go along the same path as me, I advise you to use 60 grit sandpaper at first with the power of sander and come back with 120 grit sandpaper by hand. Then you can repeat this for all four of the side edges on the box. Once that's done, it's time to make the top of the box to finish off the structural parts of the build. To do this, first take measurements of the opening of our box and transfer it to a scrap piece of quarter inch plywood. Make sure to cut the piece oversized so you can sand it flush on the box. Once your piece has been cut, you can glue it down to the box and leave it to dry. After the glue is dried, come back with a sander to take off the excess lip from the piece. Then you can round all the edges just like before to make everything run smoothly. After all that is done, this is what we're left with. Now it's time to drill a center hole in the top to fit the opening of our store-bought soap dispenser. First drill a pilot hole with a 1 8 inch drill bit and come back with a 1 inch one that corresponds with the opening of our soap bottle. Now it's time to apply the finish to our box. I'm going to be staining it first and afterwards I'll be whitewashing it. All of this is purely optional and can be customized based on the type of look you're going for. To apply the stain, just take a simple rag and dip it into the finish. Then spread it on top of our product until it soaks into the wood. Once the stain is dried, take another clean rag and spread some homemade whitewash on it. After applying, work it into the wood and wipe off the excess. Do this until all the sides have been whitewashed and then leave it out to dry for a full 24 hours. Alright, so a day's passed now and the whitewash has dried. So now all we have to do is to take our clear coat and spread it on top. I'm going to be using polyurethane and to apply this I'm going to be using a paintbrush. To apply this, gently dip the brush into the poly and spread it onto the wooden box. Make sure to go in the direction of the grain so marks aren't visible. Apply this on all five sides and allow for it to dry. In the end, the box should have three to four coats and a light sanding in between each one. And now you're done. No matter how you make it, it'll look great because it can be customized by the finish and the size. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see similar content in the future, please make sure to subscribe. 